Hi, my name is Dr. Amir Kasim, Director of Clinical Policy at the American College of Physicians. ACP has released a new clinical practice guideline for the prevention of venous thromboembolism in patients hospitalized for medical illnesses, including stroke. The guideline makes three clinical recommendations. First, ACP recommends that doctors assess the risk of thromboembolism and bleeding in medical, including stroke patients, before starting prophylaxis for VTE. Because most hospitalized patients have at least one VTE risk factor, many patients routinely receive prophylaxis for VTE, and the evidence does not support routine prophylaxis. We recommend pharmacologic prophylaxis with heparin or related drug for VTE in medical, including stroke patients, unless the assessed risk of bleeding outweighs the likely benefits. In most cases, the clinical benefit of reducing pulmonary embolism events will outweigh the harm of increased risk of bleeding events. The third recommendation in the guideline addresses mechanical prevention. ACP recommends against the use of mechanical prophylaxis with graduated compression stockings for prevention of VTE. The evidence showed that they were not effective in preventing VTE or reducing death and resulted in lower extremity skin damage. In this guideline, we have a policy implication statement saying ACP does not support the application of performance measures in medical patients, including stroke, that promote universal VTE prevention, regardless of risk. Performance measures that encourage VTE prevention may encourage physicians to use prevention in patients for whom the risk may exceed the likely benefit. You can read the complete guideline at acponline.org. Thank you.